Hello everyone, Pockets here. Back with something a little different today. Uh, a little guide, uh, primarily for the COE, Convocation of Empyrean's Alliance, but maybe useful to others as well as it is some interesting information. Uh, this particular guide is going to be two separate videos, two parts. Uh, in the first part, we're going to look at setting up deployment ready alpha alts. So characters that are ready to take on a role as we need them in the future. And it's a, a practice that several of the people I talk to have started doing, and I've been doing it for a while as well, where if we're, something needs to happen in the corp, your corp, or your alliance, or just you, you need an alt to do a very specific thing, and an alpha can do that. Having the alpha ready to inject the skills needed and deploy to that activity. Uh, so this first part is going to be looking at just setting up general deployment-ready alts. The second part is going to be much more convocation specific. Uh, we're going to look at taking one of those deployment ready alts and putting it into a role, a role specifically for the Alliance. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, as always, I will break this down into parts and there'll be timestamps in the description as well as the timeline bar will be broken up into each section. So you can skip around to the parts that you need to specifically need to see. The key to this is to set up using a buddy code. Now, you can go ahead and use a code provided by some an Eve content creator. For example, I keep mine linked in my description of all my videos, helps support the content that those creators create, but by no means is that necessary. It's very easy to use your own buddy code off of your main account to create all your alts, and that way you get the benefits of the Recruiter Friend program as well. If you want to use your own code, you go to eveonline.com slash recruit, and then you log in with your main account. Okay, in this case, Kaltoran's account. And right here, this link, this is the link you need to start with a buddy code. So you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit right from here, but I'm just gonna copy the link. And then you go up into a new browser window. Oh, freaking Yahoo again. It keeps coming back, I gotta have to kill it again. The benefit of using the buddy code, the main thing you're looking for in this narrow instance is the 1 million free skill points. This is what's gonna let us flip a prepped character, we don't need that, a prepared character into a deployment ready character. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off of camera and I will bring you back once we are ready to log in and create our first character. So stand by. Okay, and here we are, fresh account. Now at this point, choose the faction that you just like. Uh, there's no real benefit, especially if you don't know what the alpha is going to be used for. In my particular case, I know what the next stage is going to be. I know what skills I'm going to give this particular character. So I'm going to go ahead and make it Keldari. Okay, so we skipped through all the like the tutorial stuff until we get to this point. And then we can hit right here, there's a little power button. And click on that and skip the introduction. Because we already know all that. We did that on our main. We're good to go. And we're going to start flying to my home system. So wherever your main base is, you probably want it close to there. Uh, that way, if you do need to deploy it, you can. I'm going to go ahead and use Structures and Star Chaser because it is open to the public in the system that I'm looking at. Now we're pretty far away and we have to go through this Triglavian system, but we should be okay. So we haven't cashed in our 1 million SP from the Recruiter Friend program. Now the nice thing with this is it does not expire. You can see this one expires in 180 days. This one doesn't expire. So this can sit here for years, for as long as we need it to. Once you redeem this into your an unapplied skill point queue, it counts towards your 5 million free training max. So leave them in the redeeming queue as long as you can. What we want to train first, this is the key point, we want to train the Magic 14. These are core skills, they're fitting skills and core skills that every character really kind of needs. We go to eveuniversity.org, the Magic 14. Uh, we can ignore the, this part here for now because that's where I've clicked, but you go to the Magic 14 and you can read about it here. This explains kind of what's going on, what the skills are, why they're important. Uh, but what we're looking for is all the way down at the bottom, Alpha Clone, not importable because you can't train more than one day at a time. So let's get that queued up. Now, one of the things I use to track it, and this is a tool I highly recommend people use, is Evemon. So you can see here, I've got my characters. These are the ones I'm tracking. I've got some hidden because I didn't want all of them out there, but these are ones you guys already know if you've been watching any of my videos. And you can see what they're training, and if you click in on them, you can see where they're located. He's traveling right now. So it's helpful, especially when you have 
say you queue up like four or five of these alts, keeps track of things. So what we need to do first is we're going to add our character to Evemon. Uh, I am going to do that off camera. So bear with me. I'm going to keep traveling while I add our new character to Evemon. So stand by. All right, there we go. We've got Aaron Rowe here. She's got her basic 5,000 ISK and 3,700 skill points. That's your starting SP allocated at the beginning for every new character. Nothing has been trained on her yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new plan with these skills in it. And we're going to talk about that. So we're going to new plan. We're going to get uh, Alpha Magic 14. You can put a description if you want. And we're going to import these skills. So copy to clipboard. Clipboard import. Yes, please. Oh, pop up, popped up over my other monitor. You can sort of look at the skill list, set a priority for this. If you have like already, already a bunch of things added, but we don't have any of that, so go in. You can see it's going to be 73 days to train all of this. And we have two bonus remaps. So what you can do is you can optimize this Optimize this for the first year of the plan. So if we do this, we can shave it down by 13 days to 59 days. If you want to use one of your remaps, you can do that to speed it up. But I'm not going to bother. So you can see it actually takes just over just over two months, which is why you want to start this process early. Let's get ourselves flying. And we'll bring up our skill list again. So this is the list. I'm just going to do them in the order they're here. Uh, we're at over a day now, so that's all we can queue up. So tomorrow, we're going to want to come back in. Although we can do it in like half an hour, you want to come back in and apply more skills. And you just want to keep this rolling. Um, which is why we use Evemon to track it. So every day we're checking out our characters, getting the habit of log logging, launching Evemon. Make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that queue is set. We are good to go. And this character will now sit where I've... At my base, basically in our home, my home system. Preparing for a time... Ooh, Praxis. Preparing for a time when I am ready to deploy her. And it's that simple. And you could queue up. So now that this one's done, once I dock in Pemin, I can make another account and set up another alt and do as many as I feel like I might want to have on hand at any time. Uh, but the idea is have as many of these sitting as you want. There's lots of benefits. Uh, once you're done the Magic 14, you have a few options. You can stop training that character and just leave it. Maybe put a second character on that account and start training that one as well. Uh, more beneficial would be to have some idea and just start training some basic skills, maybe frigate like ship skills, or even better would be um, the support skills for weapon systems. So once the Magic 14 is done, you could go into gunnery and start training things like sharpshooter, motion protection, training all these up. Don't worry about these because you don't know exactly what you're going to do with it necessarily. Uh, but all these support ones. So gunnery, you could get that to five, which is good. Rapid firing, surgical strike, all these. Start training those up. Uh, same with the missile launcher ones. You have missile launcher operation, bombardment for range. Some of these will open up as this trains as well. Uh, drones are a good one. Get those to five. Well, get the drone skill to five. Get like avionics, your your tanking skills, your speed skills, all that. For the drones all trained up would be the ones that I would look at. Um, keep training, keep training, keep training. Uh, the more skills you have going and the closer you are to that 5 million when you deploy it, kind of the more benefit you get out of that 3 million SP. Once it's stocked up here, you know, two months down the road, this character will be perfectly suited to jump into some minor role as a scout, as a defense alt for, you know, a specific forward operating base. You don't have to travel there. There may be, you know, which is what we're going to do. Anyways, let's... Uh, End that video there. I'm going to get this person sort of set up at home. And then in the next video, we'll go into more detail. It's going to be more convocation of Empyrean specific. I'll be flipping this character into a very specific role, uh, the, what we call our quick response force. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that helpful. Hopefully I covered everything. Uh, if I missed something, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But that should get all of you set up with deployment-ready alphas. As always, take care of each other, and I'm out of here.